welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this site okay so, so we are going to discuss the question armstrong number in this video right okay so what is an armstrong number an armstrong number is a number such that cube sum equals to n cube sum equals to n something like this for example a number is given to me as 153 right so what are the digits it has a digit 1 5 and 3 right so if I take the cube of these numbers, 1 cube will be 1, 5 cube will be 125 and 3 cube will be 27 and if I add them up, that is 1 plus 125 plus 27, which is equals to, if I see 125, 27 and 1, it will be equals to 3, 5, 1, right, it will be equals to 153. If this number and this number are equal, I will have to return yes, otherwise for this case 372, 372, 3 cube is 9. Oh, sorry 3 cube is 27 7 cube is 343 i guess right and 2 cube is 8 if i add them up it will be something like 3 4 3 27 and 8 it will be equals to 18 5 plus 2 7 and 3 it will be equal to 378 these numbers are not equal so i will be returning no that is the only thing you have to do from the number you have to make its single digits take their cubes add them up and equate the numbers right now how will you do it so there are two ways to do it which i can figure out suppose my number is suppose my number is 153 it is given to me in integer format it is given to me in integer format what can i do my first method is to use two string use two string how this 153 can be converted to a string type 153 using two string using two string method in the stl right after this 153 what can, what i can do i will keep a value equals to 0 currently right value equals to 0 and then i will traverse so for i equals to now it has been given to me that we have been provided with a three digit number the number is always three digit the number is always three digit so for int i going from 0 up till 0 1 2 up till 2 that is the last index what will i do i will say value plus equals to for one how will i get this one uh, from this like I have got a character 1, I want the integer 1. What can I do? From this character, I will subtract the 0 character. That is, I will say power of 1, power of, sorry, power of, uh, let us say this string is known as s. So, s i minus 0. This will give me the number, that this will give me the value. That is, this one, this will convert 1 into this one, right? And I have to increase it to the power of 3, value plus equals to this. After this loop, I will just say if value equals to equals to this n, suppose this is my n, I have to return yes, otherwise I will return no, okay. This is my two string method. First, I will convert the number into two string and then I will equate. Only simple, right? Nothing complicated. What is the time complexity, guys? So, we know we are actually doing it for three operations, which is actually equal to length of n, right? So, n and two string takes a time of log n, so n log n, right? Obviously, n is 3 here always, so it is 3 log 3, so it is O of 1, I can say, right? Moving on. Second method is to, instead of two, instead of using two string, calculate the digits manually. Second method. What can I do? n is 153. Let me say y is also equals to n. That is, now y contains 153. Suppose my value is starting from 0. Now, I will say while my y is greater than 0. What will I do? To get this number, I want... 153 I want 3 first I want to get 3 digit this digit how can I do it so if my y also contain 153 if 153 percentile 10 percentile 10 that is mode so it will be equals to 3 the remainder will be 3 that is the way case here so x equals to y percentile 10 value plus equals to power of x to the power 3 right and then to change 153 to 15 it will do uh, 153 divided by 10 which is equals to 1 which is equals to 15 integer division right okay so y by equals to 10 at last the if, if else condition is same if uh, value equals to equals to n i will not equate with y because y is now 0 while if my value is equals to equals to n return yes otherwise no right time complexity is same and log n right because of this step y is equals to n so it is actually going to n log n which is again equals to o of 1 because n is 3 here right okay so let us see the code now real fast because i don't think that this problem needs more attention so here is the coding section guys so please 
I would like to request you to please subscribe to the channel first then move to the code because it really motivates me and really please if you're learning something here if you're finding it helpful please do like the video because that also matters to me right okay so moving on firstly int value equals to 0 right int y equals to n and now while my y is greater than 0 what will I do value plus equals to power of y percentile 10 to the power 3 right and then you can just do y by equals to 10 at last if your value equals to if your value equals to equals to n return yes oh it will be a string format guys yes else return no right let us try to run it hope it will work fine should not give any error Uh, okay, it is running fine for the sample test case. Let us try it for the all the test cases, the hidden test cases. Okay, it is running fine, and you can see 182 day streak. So thank you for watching. We'll meet again tomorrow. Till then, keep coding and stay struggling. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.